Hi everyone, in the previous video we learned how to train fair MRT model on a crowd human data set. In this video we will learn how to use our pre-trained model. We will use our pre-trained model on test video. So we will detect and track each object in the video. As we mentioned in the previous video, fair MRT model will return heat map box offset at each location, box size at each location, and the last one, re-identification features at each location. Now we will apply non-maximum separation on the predicted heat map. Here non-maximum separation using max pooling 2D with pool size 3 times 3 to extract the peak key points in the heat map. And as we said before in the previous video, the predicted centers at the heat map should have high heat map response scores. After that, we will keep the locations of the key points whose heat map scores are larger than a threshold. These key points, it is just the predicted centers. So now we have the predicted centers of the objects in the image and we have box offsets to correct the problem of downsampling and correct the position of these uh, predicted centers. And we have box size for each predicted center. And the last thing, we have re-identification features for each predicted center, or in other words, we have re-identification features for each predicted object. We will use re-identification features for object tracking. You should know that we will choose just re-identification features that corresponds to the predicted centers. Or predicted centers after correction by using predicted center offsets. The last thing we will talk about is online association. It is just about how the model will track the objects in the video. You can use deep sort to do that for you and you will fit re-identification features to deep sort. I'm not going to talk about deep sort and how it's work, but it's just give unique ID for each object in the video and it will use re-identification features for each object to track them. Now let's go to Colab and see the performance of our pre-trained fair MRT model on test video. As you can see here, I trained fair MRT model for only one epoch. Try to increase the number of epochs and the results will be better than what I have. Now we will run demo script, which is in this directory. After that, we will define the architecture, which is ResNet DCN underscore 34. And we will put the path of our pre-trained model. And we will define confidence threshold argument and let's set it 0.4. And the last thing we will put the path of our test video. After run demo script, you will see demo folder in fair MRT folder. And inside the demo folder, you will see the output video. Let's see the results. Here's our video. As you can see here, the model detect and track each object in the video. It gives each object unique ID. It's not that good because we trained it just one epoch, but you can increase the number of epochs and get better results. Thanks for watching.